guys, today's video is going to be a huge empties video. I have been collecting up empties for a while, I would say at least six months and I finally have kind of sorted my stuff out and got my stuff together so I'm going to film it. I'm going to try and go through quite quickly and maybe spend a bit longer on anything that which I really liked. I sorted it all out last night so that I could kind of speed through my empties and not be just picking out stuff at random. So if I've got multiples of anything then they're already kind of set up and I can just show you. Honestly I thought I'd keep it quite casual today, I'm just sitting down on my floor and it just means it's easier for me to grab my stuff because I don't think I could get it all on the table, I literally have like three boxes of things. So let's just get started. The first thing I want to talk about is dry shampoo. I've gone through so many of these. I think they've been in every empty video I've ever filmed. And I used to be obsessed with this one. This is the, well, this is the Batiste dry shampoo. This is the dark and deep brown one. I used to use this all the time. But recently I've been enjoying just kind of like the white one, uh, the original. This is the sweetie scent. I don't know, recently I've been preferring this one because this one does leave sort of a coloured residue in your hair and it can, can sometimes get into your like fingernails and stuff like that. With this one you just have to work it in, but it's colourless once you get it in. So I really really like this dry shampoo though, I find that it soaks up oil really well and um, I always repurchase it. I think I have another one already which I'm using. Another dry shampoo which I really like is from Dove, it's their Refresh and Care dry shampoo. I find that this works really well on like second day hair, when your hair isn't like super super greasy but just has, you just want a bit of a freshen up, this is really good, it smells really good. I have used a couple of these, I've probably gone through maybe three bottles, this might be my third. Um, I will probably repurchase it at some point, it's really nice. I have two of my favourite cleansers, the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser, this is like my original, this is what my mum bought me as one of my first ever like skincare products, it's what my mum uses, she loves those well. If I'm not wearing waterproof mascara, if I'm just wearing regular mascara, this can take off everything and it's so quick, I literally just work it in kind of to my eye makeup and on my lips and then just around my face and wipe it off with like a muslin cloth um, which usually comes with this product as well and then literally I'm done and then I'll go in with like a toner or something else but it is my just the original, I really really like it, I have another one, I will always repurchase it slash steal it from my mum's beauty cupboard when I'm back home, but I really really like this. And then for waterproof makeup, this is my favourite, this is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. I find that this is so great for waterproof mascara, it's like the cheapest product I've found which really works with waterproof makeup, which I do tend to wear waterproof mascara fairly often, although I have found um, a non-waterproof one which I really quite like. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's around like £13, but you can usually get it on offer if you just wait for that or get it on a deal with like another product or something like that. This is so great though. And it lasts a pretty long time. You get 200 milliliters, and you really only need one pump, even if you've got quite a lot of makeup on. And then sometimes I'll go in with this afterwards if I feel like I need a bit more. I have used up quite a few toners. Um, this is a actual sample size. This is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion for Com Combination Oily Skin. So it's step three in their program. I think this is so good. I got this in like a starter kit, I think. So there's a few different products in it. And I adore this. It really clarifies your skin. I find with toners, they always take off um, some extra makeup. So I usually cleanse and then use a toner. I always find that there's makeup on my um, cotton pad or whatever, like a little bit left over. This always gets so much off. It's incredible. I really like it. I use it in the morning and I use it at night as well. Um, I definitely recommend it. I've repurchased like a bigger size and I really, really like it. It's just so clarifying. That's the best way to describe it. And then I have another toner. This is uh, from The Body Shop. It's the Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. I do like this. I don't think I'll repurchase it. It definitely was hydrating. It was quite thick and it kind of left a bit of a film on your skin. So I would maybe use it at night time more than anything else. Um, I did like it, but just not my favourite. It did smell really good though. So, liked it, but just probably not my favourite. And then, this from Dolce & Gabbana, this is a clarifying lotion as well, so it was kind of just a toner. It's really nice packaging, it's like really weighty. Um, I think I got this in a beauty box a while back. Again, liked it, but probably won't repurchase really it, it just wasn't my favourite, and I imagine it's like fairly expensive, so yeah, probably not going to repurchase this one. I have another product from that Vitamin E range from The Body Shop, this is the Overnight Serum and Oil. It's an 8 hour oil. Um, I did like this, I kind of forgot about this, it's one of the things that's been in my empties bag for a while, um, but I do quite like this, it was just a really nice step at the end of my skincare routine in the evening, I would just pop this on and leave it on overnight, 
Um, I'm not sure really if it made that much difference and I think I prefer um, different overnight oils but I did like it, um, obviously I've used it up so that's a good thing. It took me maybe a while but yeah, I liked it. I just want to quickly mention the shower gel because I've repurchased it a couple of times. I don't have all of them but I've definitely gone through like maybe three. This is the Radox Phil Revived with Mandarin and Lemongrass shower gel and I just really like the scent of it so I thought I would just throw that in and give it a quick mention. I'm sure I'll get this again. Okay, let's mention a few makeup things. Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze. Mentioned this so many times. It broke, um, so I just bought a new one. It's only £3. It's like my favourite, most used bronzer. Really, really like this. I just think it's such a great tone and obviously it's huge. You get like uh, 15 grams of product and I've hit pan and I've used up a lot and I've already started using my new one quite a lot. So yeah, this is like my favourite bronzer of all time. Love it, gone through a few. And then I've got a, a blush which actually cracked. This is Natural Collection Peach Melba. Um, these are really cheap as well, they're like two pounds. It's just, again, it's like my original. Let me try and get a decent swatch for you without just making a mess. Um, yeah, this is just my original favorite, like one of the first products I ever like fell in love with. Really just cheap and cheerful, kind of does the job. I really like the tone of it, this is my favorite shade. There's like six different shades, I own them all. I need to buy a replacement of this actually. But yeah, love this. Kind of sad that I smashed it. Let me just mention a few mascaras. These are all like my holy grail favourite, favourite mascaras. These are the three, uh, these three here. Waterproof mascaras, which I find are just the best. Um, Maybelline the Rocket is like my original again. <laughs> There's a lot of like my favourite products ever in here. This is just um, really good at separating and lengthening the lashes, holds the curl amazingly. And then L'Oreal Miss Manga, again waterproof. Um, really like this one as well, just find the same. It kind of, this one's a bit more vo volumising um, as it kind of says in the name. And then my favourite one of late has been the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. This one is so good. I do find that, um, I feel like the formula gets a bit clumpy quite quickly after a while. Um, but this gives me like volume and length and everything and it's just really black. So I think this one's my favourite for right now. I say that these three are like my most repurchased mascaras. I love them all. And then for lower lashes, I kind of always use this one. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And makeup just flakes and smudges under my eyes. So this is one of the only mascaras I've found which really works. And it just doesn't move. It doesn't smudge. And it really, because it has such a small brush, it really um just... You can get right in there, you can get loads of length. Um, I kind of want to try something different, just to try something different, but things always smudge. So if you have any recommendations for like mascara that doesn't smudge, especially on the lower lash line, then please leave a comment. Let's show these two together. I've got two from the Zoella range. I used up the Wonder Hand Cream. It, this was probably a while ago. It was nice. Um, I think I've actually bought another one of these recently. Um, I do like it, a nice big tube, you get loads in there, the scent's really pleasant, it's nice, moisturises my hands, great. And then the Fragrance Body Mist, this is the Let's Spritz one, it's kind of like the Tutti Fruity scent I think. I really like this, I love how scents just bring back memories. This reminds me of like, springtime. This definitely is just really a body mist though, it's not like a perfume, it won't last on you for ages. Um, but it's it's a nice smell, I've thought about repurchasing this actually just because I really like the scent of it. But yeah, it doesn't really last. Can't really be used as a perfume, just kind of for a nice spray. If you want to freshen up or anything, then this is great. Concealer. I've got a few. Okay, I've got um, two of the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealers, both in the shade Light. Um, this one's actually not been finished, but I took off the sponge and then I regretted it. So I much prefer it with the sponge. This is like my everyday concealer. It gives me like a nice amount of coverage. It's just nice and um, affordable. So I just find this is great for everyday. It's probably not like my favorite concealer of all time, but for just like a work day or an average day where I'm not really doing too much, this is perfect. Really easy to apply. I find the sponge just makes things so quick and easy and simple. I've got the Fit Me concealer as well. I used to use this a ton. This is in the shade 20. But I actually prefer other things now. In my lifetime, I've probably been through like maybe five tubes of this. So obviously I must have liked it at some point. But I think I hadn't found anything better yet. But I have found better things now. So I do like this. But I do find that it creases under my eyes kind of worse than a few others from the drugstore. So 
probably won't repurchase this one. I have so many tubes of this stuff. This is the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I've got like three tubes on the go and there's like two that are the same shade. I don't really know what's going on there. But this is in the shade number two, Cool Medium. This is just really great um, for concealing any blemishes. I find that's what it's best for. I sometimes use it under my eyes, but it's a bit drying for there. I have like the most fickle under eye area, I can't even tell you. So I don't really use it for that, but I do really love it. I find it's one of the best things I've found for concealing any spots. Two high-end concealers. I've got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have literally used up every last bit of this. I think this was something I just really wanted to try because I'd heard so many people talking about it. I think it was nice, um, but for the price, it just wasn't like my favourite one going. So I won't repurchase this one, but it was it was pretty good. And then MAC Pro Longwear. This is in the shade NC15. I like the thin consistency of it, and I like the coverage, and it does last a long time, and it's got like a really nice finish. So I have another bottle of this somewhere. I do like this. I think I probably would get it again. This is the concealer which has all completely faded, but this is probably my favourite concealer I've tried so far, and I have repurchased it, um, I ordered it, I haven't, it hasn't come yet, but this is the NYX HD concealer. I have a few quite stubborn creases under my eyes, which most concealer will just fall into those lines and I can't do anything about it. This is like one of the only concealers which I found which um, did not crease, and it kind of went into those lines and smoothed everything over and I really enjoyed that and then for some reason I think because NYX isn't really that easy to get a hold of in the UK um, it's becoming easier I didn't repurchase it straight away and I've only just repurchased this and I did find that I went through it quite quickly which was a shame I can't wait to try it, try it out again and see if it's as good as I remember but from what I remember this is like the best concealer I've ever used for under the eyes a couple more makeup things, um, the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. I really liked this, it was so moisturising and felt really good on the skin. Um, I kind of forgot about it until I saw it in my empties when I was going through them. But yeah, I really like this, I think I might repurchase this. And then I've got this uh, powder from the Balm, it's the Sexy Mama powder. And I smashed it and it literally is all gone. Um, I liked this, I don't think it's my favourite I've ever tried so I probably won't repurchase this one. Let's quickly breeze through some skincare. I have a few things here. Where to start? Soap and Glory hand food. Um, I've bought this a couple of times. I've had like the bigger size as well. I really like this. And then the Righteous Butter. I think this came on like a set. Again, really nice. I don't tend to use up body butters, even though this is like a smaller size. If I use it up, I must quite like it. Garnier Miracle Sleeping Cream. This was nice, actually. I think I might get this again. It was like a thicker cream, which was good for nighttime. Obviously, that's what it's marketed to be and what it's made for. So, yeah, I liked this. There's a few things in here which just I completely forgot about them, and then seeing them in my empties, I rem it reminded me how much I really liked them. So, this is the H2O Plus um, Face Oasis Hydrating Treatment, and I got a sample size of this in some beauty box and it was really little just a really small sample size and I, I loved it um I love the sort of gel gel like serum type products they're just what I find is best for my skin or just like what I enjoy using the most it's like this was like a blue color and I really really liked this and I finished this up ages ago and I completely forgot about it so I think I might actually repurchase this I'm not sure we can get this I've heard you can get it in M&S um, I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, a few more night creams. I had this um, sample of the Nukes Detox. It's got a really long name. But it's basically a night, night cream in this purple packaging. And I really liked this as well. Um, these are just, I guess, a bit more pricey. So I don't like repurchase them straight away. Even if I like it. Just because I have to think about money. Um, but yeah, I liked this one as well. So I might try and repurchase that one. And then one from Polar. I mentioned this in my last Birchbox unboxing. Um, this is their Polar Nuit Pla cream. <laughs> I think it's French. Yeah, it's French. And yeah, I really like this one as well. And I've been using the other cream I got in my birch box, my last birch box from Polar, and I really like it. Um, it's a really great brand, so I might repurchase this. If I can find it on the birch box website, that'll be even better. More beauty box finds. This is the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. And again, really, really liked this. It was like a really thick yellow honey coloured serum. And I just found it was really nice. Again, it had a bit of a gel-like texture. Um, smelled really, really good. So I actually might repurchase this one. I think I did look for it and couldn't find it. So if I can get a full size of this, then I will. 
Um, an old favourite of mine, the Sanctuary Spa Illuminating Moisture Lotion. I actually haven't bought one of these in ages. I went through like, I bought loads of minis and then I think I've been through two full sizes of this. And I think I really liked this, especially in the sort of colder months because it was when my skin was a bit more dry and this would just kind of give it that illuminating factor. So I think I might go out and buy this one again um, now that it's getting colder and we're getting to sort of autumn and winter. But this is like one of my, like, yeah, again, favourites. Probably of the, like, last Christmas time I was buying tons of these. Clinique free gifts, like Clinique bonus time is one of my favourite things because there's a couple of Clinique products which I always repurchase, I always get them at bonus time. So I've got a few, like, Clinique minis. The Dramatically Different Moisturising Lotion Plus two of those yeah really like this i've never bought it as a full size but like i do like it so i maybe would or probably just get another one in like a free gift and then the turnaround overnight Re revitalizing moisturizer um liked this as well i love night creams because they're just so thick and they feel like so luxurious and just like really uh, melt into the skin and i just really like that i don't really have a favorite but i have a few which i really like and yeah was a fan of this one we are almost done Let's talk foundation. My foundation drawer, or like my face drawer is the top one, and there's so many foundations in there, which I've had for ages and not finished up, that it's a bit, um, it's actually a bit embarrassing. But there's a couple, or there's two here, which I have actually finished. The first one I'm sad about because I think it's been discontinued. I haven't seen it in store for ages. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude Foundation in Ivory with the like white, top I loved this foundation I loved the finish of it I loved the fact that I felt like it got better during the day and I scraped it because you can like see through the bottle I scraped it clean and I'm sure I found another one online um and purchased it but I cannot find it for the life of me I need to have a really good search but this is like one of my favorites I feel like I shouldn't talk about it for too long because you can't even get it anymore but I liked it and I have tried the like the red one the original Rimmel Lasting Finish foundation and I don't like it as much it's too like it's nice but it's obviously this is what I use for every day and that one is like a lot heavier another um one I've used up is the EX1 Invisiwear liquid foundation I had this in F100 again really liked this I think I might repurchase it as well I finished up a while ago but it was really nice a really nice colour um, a nice finish and yeah I say it with like a medium coverage and I really really liked it. My deodorant of choice is always one of these two, I've got two of the green ones, uh, the Dove Go Fresh Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. I've been getting into roll-on deodorants recently, I find they work better. This is like my favourite scent and then also the Grapefruit and Lemongrass scent I really like. I buy these two in this version or in the spray version, I've been using them for years, I really like them. I've had a bit of an obsession with baby lips recently. I only buy like the colourless ones, it's just for like an everyday lip balm, so when I'm at work and stuff I'll just reapply it and reapply it whenever I feel like I need to. Um, this one I finished up just the other day, this is the hydrate version, although actually there's probably a tiny bit more I could use up. So this is just the hydrate, and this is really nice, but my favourite one is the Dr Rescue one. This is the Dr Rescue menthol lip balm. It's only like a few pounds, and it really works, basically. I love that it's in a stick, it's just really easy to apply um, and I like that it's just really accessible. I couldn't find this one for a while actually, there's obviously loads of different baby lips but I couldn't find this one but I got repurchased one the other day, really happy about that. So this is my favourite baby lips but I used up this other one as well. Have you ever bought a like job lot of one product on eBay because I have and then I've used five of them? I went through this phase of like buying makeup on eBay and there's like a few products which you can just buy in like bulk and get loads of them for like a massively discounted price. This is the collection um, Fix Me Up Long Lasting Makeup Fixer. It's just a setting spray and it comes in these little bottles of 18 milliliters. and this, these are five that I've gone through. It's just like um, good for every day, it sets your makeup down. I have another one on my table. I've never bought it just from like a shop because I've never needed to but I've actually run out now so I don't know whether I'll buy another like batch of them or if I'll just buy one from a shop. I have a few different other setting sprays which I can use for now. I set my makeup every single day even if I'm wearing like barely any I'll still spray it with some um, setting spray. 
I used up this sample size of the Smashbox Primer Water. I really liked this actually. Again, it was just something that hydrated my skin. I don't know whether um, I'll repurchase it. I don't know whether it's like that great that I kind of spend like twenty pounds on it or whatever it is. But I did like it. I don't know whether you can just use any setting spray. Um, really before just a hydrate or like a hydrating mist but this is really nice I did like it Clinique the Clinique eye cream it's my favorite I cannot be without it I have got two full sizes here of the all about eyes rich eye cream this is my favorite and then I have a mini as well and then I have the all about eyes just the normal one and I picked this up by accident. I literally thought I was buying this one and I got home and realised it was this one. This one's a lot less intense, a lot less rich. And I went through it so fast. I found that it just like, my skin just eat, like ate it. So I won't be buying this one again unless I do it by accident. This is like my favourite. Again, sensitive under eye area and this just really works for me. And it just hydrates everything and doesn't irritate my skin. Clinique is really great. I've never really tried anything from Clinique that I didn't like. Definitely not skincare anyway. Skincare wise, I always like it. I think Clinique skincare is so fantastic. I feel like the most accurate way to describe me is by looking at my nail polish empties. Literally, they're all, none of them are the same, but they are, they're all the same. They're different brands and they're slightly different colors, but this is me. Um, right now I actually have on this one, this is Maybelline um, Latte. It's the Colour Show 60 Seconds formula and this is just um, sort of a go-to colour, type colour for me. It's just like a barely there shade. I'm not the best at painting my nails in terms of like technique. So if it's this colour I feel like it's most forgiving and it just looks like timeless I find. So I love shades like this. I've repurchased this particular shade. Um, I went through this really really fast. So they're basically really similar shades. This is Essie Spin the Bottle. And this one I finished up a while ago, and I might repurchase it actually. Just again, a really nice sort of nudie peach. Then I've got one from Soigne. I never know how to say this brand. This is Creme Aubert. And yeah, just really similar again. I like all of these formulas because I've used them all. So I usually, I do use three coats of nail polish, really whatever shade I'm wearing. So if it's a little bit patchy or streaky on like first coat, then that doesn't really bother me. I know that would bother other people. Um, but all of these are pretty decent, so yeah, went through that one as well. And then this one's a slightly more nude, like less of a peach, more of a neutral shade. This is Colour Club, barely there. And if you go back through like some of my old videos, this one would be in the description a lot, because I would wear this one loads. But now I've gone more to sort of a peachier shade. I've got two kind of used up bottles of Sesh V. I do find that when it gets to about maybe two thirds of the way down I just find it it's a bit uh, discoloured and then gets really kind of stringy and gloopy so I've just kind of repurchased a new one recently so I've got two of those this is my favourite top coat of all time I find it really hard to even motivate myself to try anything else because this just dries really fast and sets everything down and it just works perfectly so yeah this is my favourite I always use this when I'm painting my nails and then base coat I've got two from uh, Nail Girls the same one this is the three in one base and top coat and nail strengthener and I loved this I can't find it anymore I think it's probably been discontinued I don't even know if this brand like exists anymore but this was really good because it just peeled off um, and I love peeling off nail polish it's so much easier than like using a nail polish remover and it chipping all the time I have found a peel off base coat which I think um, is working for me right now it's actually really cheap um, I might mention it in like a favorites video I'm still kind of trying it out but this was my favourite for a while and yeah this will always have a special place in my heart but I don't think I can get it anymore. Let's talk more like all time favourite makeup products. From Collection, a lipstick. This is Cafe Ole. I've mentioned this a few times and it just kind of died and because they're like affordable products that's when I just repurchased them even when they're not necessarily like finished up. This is like a my favourite nude type shade on me. It's really good for like fairer skin tones. It's kind of similar to what I've got on now, the shade. Um, so I repurchased that already. It's like one of my favorite, all time favorites. Kiko uh, Mineral Powder. This is the Soft Focus Compact Wet and Dry Mineral Foundation in the shade 02. This is really good for tons of things. You can see there's a tiny bit left, but I bought, I didn't buy the exact same one. I bought like a limited edition one because it was on sale and it basically does the same thing. It's really good for like midday touch ups 
if you feel like your makeup's faded a bit if you just like get a huge brush and just buff this onto the skin it will just give you that extra hit of coverage just to get you through the rest of the day and it's really good on its own without any like liquid foundation sometimes i just use concealer and then just buff this onto my skin for like a low maintenance no makeup makeup type look um yeah i love kiko i think it's such a good brand such a good price for the quality and the packaging as well nars laguna bronzer this is destroyed <laughs> it's sad to get rid of this one actually because obviously this is like one of my first high-end purchases I made of makeup. It's such a nice bronzer. I don't know if I'll repurchase it quite right now. Probably in the future I'll get this again. It's really nice. It, it's just a nice shade. It has a nice um, bit of sheen to it. It's a bit warmer than that Makeup Revolution one. It has a little bit of yeah shimmer and sheen. Not much really, but it's just a nice shade. And yeah, this was like my go-to for ages, but it broke, I repressed it, and then I think now it's just time for it to go. I'm covered in makeup. <laughs> so yeah, Nars Laguna, such a great bronzer. We are almost done. Let me just mention a few more things. This is not quite finished. I'm like holding on to it. It's got like the smallest amount of products left. I need to repurchase it. This is the Nukes Rev Demille Lip Balm. I love this. Um, I bought this when I was in France, actually. And... This is really good for going under lipstick because it's like a matte lip balm. It's hard to explain if you haven't tried it, but that's the best e way I can explain it. It's just a matte lip balm. So most days if I'm wearing like a lip colour, if I'm not just using lip balm, then I will um, exfoliate my lips with my Lush Lip Scrub and then I will pop this on a little bit before I'm doing my lips. And then I usually will like bounce my foundation over the top like with my sponge or whatever. And then I'll go in with a lipstick and that really works for me. I've done that today. It just hydrates, so if I'm using like a matte lipstick, this will just help that out um, to not dry out my lips too much. And this is just a great lip balm, I really like it. I've gone through a few a few of these. Um, I've got the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, it's just a nice like eyeliner. Recently I found myself preferring like the liquid like brushes, like the NYX liquid liner, then, rather than a pen, whereas I used to prefer the pens. I think I actually used this today, but I have like a new one. So I do like this. If you like a pen, um, eyeliner pen, then this is like one of the best. I would definitely recommend it. NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. Oh, this is like a favourite. I'm only getting rid of this one because I repurchased it. Because it was time. This was like my go-to shade like a year, year ago. Um, it's like the perfect pinky peach I, I like on my skin. It's like my most used gloss of all time. And I repurchased it, so it's time to get rid of this one because I've had it for far too long. And they smell so good, they're like cupcakes. And I feel like this shade is so underrated, I never hear people talk about it. I always hear people talk about creme brulee, which I haven't tried, but I think tiramisu is like top of the list. This is just, yeah, my favourite one. And then a lip liner. This is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Girl Next Door. I've repurchased this multiple times. I have at least two around. Um, let me see if I can get anything out of this, it's like a little nub. And this is like a really great neutral shade, um, it's kind of got a bit of a grey tone, grey undertone, it's perfect for fair skin, and again it's just a really affordable option if you're looking for something. I love this, um, it's just one of my all time favourites again, I use it all the time. Finally, the last thing which I'm going to mention is my Christina Aguilera perfume, this is the original, and this is just like my signature scent. Um, I've gone through probably like five or six bottles of this of like varying sizes. I like it because it's Christina Aguilera and that's my name, my name's Christina. So I, yeah, it's just one of my favourite scents, I'm so fussy with scents. I know it's got like blackberry, I don't know what else it actually has in it but it's empty. I have another one which I've actually almost finished so I need to like repurchase my repurchase. I love this scent, I think it's really nice, if you haven't smelt it I definitely would recommend like if you see it, then just give it a sniff and see if you like it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I had more empties, but I can't. I wouldn't be able to fit it all into one video, so I kind of just threw some away and just went with, like, the best of the best kind of empties. So, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I haven't filmed an empty video for ages. I'm really excited to throw this all away. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for excessive amount of swatches on my hand and if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!